What is lupus? So lupus is a blood disease that affects the white blood cells. Um, and in lupus sufferers, like we've all got white blood cells which fight infection for us nicely. But with lupus sufferers, those white blood cells fight against their own body. So mm -hmm. it attacks the body itself. Uh -huh. So it sort of breaks down. For me, I had liver, kidney damage, um, arthritis symptoms, hair loss, um, uh, mouth ulcers, sores, face, oh. arms, um, down your body and I think they just yeah. don't heal because you're constantly fighting your own body so yeah. you, it's very difficult to heal. And how did it first manifest itself? How did you find out that you had it? Um, in uh, when I, <laughs> it kind of co- sorry. Coincided. Yeah. Coincided with the, when I was, um, when I left the group. Sure. So, oh, um, with the group, now I didn't realise until I read the notes today that you actually got sacked, didn't you? You got an email saying that they'd sacked you. Yeah, I got a fax. You got a fax. That's so that. stressful. And, and also upsetting. your parents had just divorced, so it was at a time when you were really, really low. Uh, and do you think that added to, that's how, how you got Absolutely. Lupus, lupus yeah. is, is stress related and definitely aggravated by stress. So um, it, was a, it was a combination of things going on in my life at the time that were, you know, all very stressful. And so I woke up one morning and couldn't bend my finger. Yeah. And then my finger became sort of a claw shape. Yeah. And it wouldn't sort of open. And, and I had some flu-like symptoms. I went to the do doctors and they said, oh, you've got a uh, post-viral infection, so take some paracetamol mm. sort of three, four times a day. You guys all look amazing, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> what? 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 Don't, what? This yeah. story, but you Don't ever amazing. say that and follow it with a sorry. <laughs> what I wanted to say to you also was that you also look amazing, and isn't that part of the problem, that yeah, you've got well. all of this pain and people look at you and go, well, there's yeah. nothing wrong with you? Well, yeah, like, you know, I'll go do my shopping or whatever, and I can't, I sometimes can't, and that's Sorry, part, part of it, of it. Yeah, stutter. Part of it. Can't always open my um, purse, for example. Mm. And so you've got some mm. wally behind you going, hurry up, hurry up, I'm trying to... And you're going, it won't be a minute. But there's no understanding or compassion for mm. lupus. So it, the challenges are vast, you know, but people don't... They just don't understand it. <laughs> and and is is it some, oh, sorry, sorry. sorry. Is it something that you're born with and stress brings it out or is it actually caused by stress? At the, that's, this is what's so difficult about lupus is that we don't know where it comes from, why you get it. It's mm. not genetic, it's not, you know, you don't follow on from your family mm. um, and there's no cure. It was after your second child, that, is that when you said that uh, you, I haven't got lupus on the brain anymore? Is that when it actually triggered yeah, that? Yeah, um, I didn't realise. Obviously, I went through all of those steps that I could take in terms of safety precautions to have yeah. Kaori. And then they said, no, you're absolutely fine. You don't have sticky blood. You're you know, very welcome to go ahead and try. This, if any time, this is going to be the best time. Yeah. Because I was really well. I'd had 10 years meds free. Yeah. Um, and then once I had Kaori, um, I started to get symptoms again, but quite uh, they were quite aggressive. So I was blinking, stuttering. Um, and I, I developed a tick, and okay. um, and I had my arthritic, had the arthritic symptoms, but it was really spiralling. And so, no matter what they tried to do in terms of managing the disease, mm. it wasn't becoming under control. And then I had a seizure, mm -hmm. and I was yeah. driving my car at the time. And fortunately, oh. I got onto the. Um, sorry, oh, fortunately, I got onto right. the, um, the, the the my driveway, yeah. and then I had a seizure. Um, and then when I came round, I lost three days of my life. Mm. I don't remember what happened. My mum said I was a, mm. awake and functioning, but I don't have don't any remember. recollection of those days. Um, and then, yeah, and so I, once I came round, um, I then, they then discovered that lupus was on my brain. So everything had, was shutting down, basically. And with that, you also had extreme anxiety and paranoia and actually, at points, feared what you might do with your children. Well, yeah, because it's on my brain, it alters the way you think and you function. So you're mm. not really in control of your own thoughts. And they give you uh, medication to kind of handle that. But at the same time, you're not in control of your thoughts. And oh. the anxiety, it creeps up and it creeps up. And, and you're not... And for me, I, I have never had a seizure before. So I wasn't sure if that was going to happen again, you know, because right. it just happened. Yeah. So because I felt the anxiety growing and growing and growing 
all I could think of was what's going to happen to me. Mm. I'm alone with my children. Oh. And they were very young. And they were really young. Well. Yeah. They were, you know, really, really young. And oh, so beautiful. Oh, yeah. oh. <laughs> How have you dealt with it with and them? So, so you they... then, sorry. So, so sorry, then you. So then... I called an ambulance yeah. because I felt like that was the safest thing to do because I wasn't sure what was going to happen to so me. So what did you, did you have? Did you separate yourself from the children then? Well, I, I would, because I was alone with them at that point, I didn't then want to be irresponsible. If I was going to have a seizure, who was going to look after my children? Oh. I'd phoned my dad, but my dad was half an hour away. In that time, anything could happen. So I was trying to be responsible and say, you somebody are get here. Extraordinary. Yeah. Yeah. You're very extraordinary. extraordinary. Very extraordinary. Yeah. If you've enjoyed that, then why not click here for more? And don't forget to subscribe by clicking here so that you never miss out on the best Loose Women moments.